Hey YouTube land, Jamie here with a quick video for you today to show you how to use uh, Reason 7 or 8 EMI external MIDI instrument with a software synthesizer on your computer. So the first thing we're going to need to do is launch Soundflower. There's a link to download it for free in the description box below. And when you have it installed and open it, we're going to make sure the 64 is set to your interface. Currently I'm using my built-in audio because my, uh, my interface is elsewhere. Um, in here, channel 1 should be your, your left output and channel 2 should be your right output. The next thing we need is uh, to launch Reason. My interface is a balance, and it is my ignition key, so... Running 7.1, this will also work on 8. And we will go to the... Sorry, we will go to the preferences, audio, and set it to Soundflower 64. Now we're going to quickly make an instrument and test it, make sure that we're hearing sound. Which I am, and I'm guessing you are. I'm going to delete that because we don't need it for this. Create an external MIDI instrument and launch Massive. Now we're going to set this to Soundflower 64 channel and go to the routing, make sure it's not routed to 1 and 2, those are the main outputs. We want to route it to 3 and 4 so we can record it inside Reason instead of just listening to it on our speakers. We're also going to go to the MIDI and turn an IAC driver bus on, the first one for this. Uh, if you don't have those on or if you don't see them, go to audio MIDI settings. I'm using the, uh, the spotlight search on Yosemite. It's popping up in the middle of the screen. Make sure your IAC driver here on the MIDI studio. If you don't see that, go to Window and Show MIDI. So we'll open that and make sure the device is online and make sure you have at least one bus. You can have as many as instruments you might want to use at once. We can quit that now. And we're going to, okay, so that's set to on, oh, we don't want all of these on, we want only one, only the first one. So we'll choose a preset sound and play from here on our MIDI keyboard. Is there a thing in Massive that shows when it's playing it? Master volume. Ah, change this to bus 1. You can see over here, we're getting sound. So we will create an audio track. We will set it to stereo and input 3 and 4. Now when we play, when we select the EMI and play, we see here and we see no metering on the audio track Y. Ah, there is. We just turn on monitoring and you can hear it. So then all you have to do is turn on your click, hit record, that. 
record arm this track and hit record. Turn off loop. Get the tail end of that. Because when you zoom in here all the way on at the beginning, you'll see that It doesn't really start, there's a little bit of, of delay, a little bit of lag. So we'll turn off the snapping, we'll trim the beginning of this to about there, there. And we'll drag it to the beginning. Then I would turn snapping back on and drag this back, boom, to there. And now if we delete the MIDI notes and we quit, Massive. We can play this back and or loop, but whatever. Uh, and of course, you can now use reasons effects like the alligator and pulverizer and what else is good that a little bit of that a lot of that and sure pad why not how's this sound turn looping back on <laughs> That's all you should need to do. One EMI, an audio track, just like you would do if you had a hardware synthesizer. And if you don't have, uh, or if you want to use something other than native instruments, which the, all of theirs you can use standalone, um, you'll need a VST wrapper or host. Uh, main stage will work great on a Mac. Uh, it's very inexpensive. You can get it on the App Store for like $30. I'll put a link also to that below in the description box. And you can host, uh, not VSTs, but audio units in there. Um, other than that, Reaper is a great choice. Another link, you can download that for free in the description box and use that to host VSTs, audio units. You can also use that on a PC. And if you are using a PC, you can't use Soundflower, but you can use Jack. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And I'll make a note here to do that. Jack. And... Uh, main stage, and what else did I say? I don't know. Reaper. I'm not affiliated with any of them. I just uh, think they're great product. Well, Jack, I, I don't use because I use a PC. But if you're using Linux, you're not using Reason. But if you're using Linux, you use Jack. If you're using a PC, you use Jack. If you're using a Mac, an Apple Macintosh computer, use Soundflower Bed as I showed and in another video I will show how to use multi-timbral contact libraries to record multi-track audio inside Reason using the same method. So check that one out. Uh, once that's up I'll put a you know one of those embedded right there. Go ahead click on that one. I'll do it. <laughs> Whoops!